play with the doggies, pet them. Why, why are they being like this? Oops, I guess I'm supposed to not let them completely eat me. Ninety, eighty, seventy, sixty, fifty, forty. Whoa, Papa. Sophie! The dogs are still there, David. Sophie. Sophie, please. I'm trying to see what does it say. Uh I can't see the beginning because they're blocking it. Burning you to hold on this. Sophie, get up. Sophie. Sophie! This can't be real, right? Let's go see Richard. We can't just leave her here. Thank you for finding my daughter. Tell me where you're going. I'll kill him. He, he killed my daughter. Wait. Just let me go! Keith, you're a detective. You've seen parents whose children were killed, haven't you? And haven't they said the same, that they want to kill the one who killed their children? Revenge is my duty as her father! David. You really think you're going to be able to kill this man who has killed a whole castle of people, Richard? I know you want revenge, but you're not going to make it very far. Bring me a curtain and a towel. Hogtie him. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Richard. Lance, checking on him from time to time. Why'd you tie him up? Because he's gonna get himself killed? Why else do you think I tied him up, Lance? I checked, and there's no razors or scissors, but there are mirrors and windows. Make sure they don't get broken. And don't take out the gag. He might chew off his tongue. Isn't there any other way? Tell me if you've got a better idea. Piece of shit. Where are you going? Just going to stay by the guy's side. If you untie him, Lance, I swear to God. You not gonna allow that, either? David, you stay here. I don't want you jabbing me in the back, too. I wouldn't do that. I know you didn't want to do it this way. I feel so bad for Richard, but there's not much else we can do. What can you even do? I'm coming too. We have to find Helena, and quick. Do as you like. David! Keith, I can't. I I just can't go in there. Yeah. 
I realized last episode that we all say Helena's name differently. I keep choosing weird times to mention things since, um, I've got to walk around and do stuff again. I moved my microphone so that it's in a different position. So right now it's sort of like underneath my chin a bit. Just so it's not in the way when I'm trying to look at the screen. But I don't know how that's going to turn out. Especially since it feels like audio issues are happening again. Keith, where is he? WHERE IS HE?! He's dead. Why? He protected me. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I tried to tell him that he should put his own safety first. Surely don't hold back. You can cry if you need to. Would it bring him back if I did? If you don't cry now, you might never cry or laugh again. Like me. Says pull it twice, right? Um, because I'm probably just gonna cut two and then cut again because I hate going down those stairs. Uh, I went up there, there's no battle. I pulled the lever twice and I headed it back down. Oh dear, now I've done it. I thought I'd get the drop on you, but you're always going off somewhere or another, so I couldn't keep up. What an awful curtain closer. But hey, that's how it goes. I've done a lot of harm murdering, and you've done a lot of harm protecting. Life doesn't always go the way you want it, don't you know? What was the lever for, though? That's what I want to know. Detective, can I ask a question? Is the question, did you know what that lever did? Because the answer is no. And I pulled it, and a part of me is just like, was this my fault? Because it sounded like it was my fault. Who took away the stairs? It was my fault. Keith! 
Oh, Lance, baby, you need to get out of here because I don't know if Keith is going to be all right. Keith! Helena! <sighs> Where'd they get to? Those guys okay? Yeah, that's right. I've heard the situation. I'm talking with him now. Do you think the boogeyman expected him to take an awful swing at him? Or do you think the boogeyman was just super cocky and he's just like, he's not gonna do it? Hey, hold on. We... can you just give me some more time? What? Tell him to go do it himself. Don't be stupid. Sure, he's a detective. But he's a victim here. If you want to hear it straight from him, you tell him that yourself. Why did it have to be her? I can't just say these things happen, can I? It's always on my mind, you know. Guys like us live all bold, but good people keep dying right in front of us. And there's nothing we can do about it. To hell with this. With all of this. Don't hold it in, Keith. You can cry now. Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if Keith just leapt over the table and tried to strangle Dick because he's the one who gave him the vacation thing. And he could just be all like, If you didn't tell me to go on a vacation, then this would never have happened. I didn't cry when my son died. Keith. Show yourself. Boy, that was awful. Oh, I knew you're still gonna be here. But hey, guess it worked out okay in the end. Now I'm able to meet you again. You've got a gloomy look there, detective. Was killing me not enough? Or is this just a hallucination? Because, you know, the last time. Worried about your wife, maybe? Don't worry. She's doing just fine on the other side. With your son, too. Give it back. Give what back? My wife. My son. Give back my family! It wasn't me. It was you! Detective, so you can't even cry normal tears, huh? Give them back? But didn't you just throw it all away? You always focused on your enemy, the one you knew was lurking somewhere. 
Didn't you notice the ones clinging to your feet? I'm sure you did. But you pretended you didn't for the sake of your petty, miserable pride. You just pushed them away. I just picked them up. This was how we would always go down, sooner or later. All along, you never even knew. I just want to mention how Boogeyman's nails are so... Just how did he even get his finger in there without struggling? I guess I'll tell you. It was me all along. I am the boogie. Damn it. I was too early in the, the first bad ending that I got. The boogie in your head. Still want to tag along? Yeah. Yeah. Do what you like. I'm exhausted. Do what you like. I'm so sleepy. Yes, that's right. I just realized Keith was in a meeting. His phone, his ringtone was on. What the frick? If, like, all of them are detectives in that meeting, should you even have your your phone on? I feel like you shouldn't. Unless it was super important. Like you were expecting a phone call. Or whatever. I'm not a detective, so I don't know Jack. Is David going to get killed anyways? Or is everyone in the safe room going to be dead? Oh! Oh! Asshole. Get back! Oh, these were the stairs. <laughs> what the hell is this area? It just says to pers- No. The suspended stairs are gone. If that was the spikes, then they would have just made me die. Anyways, I'm heading back to the safe room. Lance? Shirley? Richard? Sophie.
No witnesses. Not a single one. I only just heard about it, so I don't know any details. We're talking with the police there, but they seem confused. Like hell I'm satisfied with confused. Do you know how many deaths we have here? Come on. I'm going to the scene myself. Get everything in order, Eric. I wouldn't trust Eric with anything, honestly. Yes, sir! What? Even Todd had a huge bed. Hey, that? Where'd Mom go? I don't know. Did Mom die? I don't know. Are you lonely, Dad? More confused than anything, honestly, kid? Yeah. But... I've got you here, right? We'll sleep here until Mom comes back. You okay with the dark? Need a nightlight? I'm fine, cause you're here, Dad. I wait in this place where the sun never shines. Where the shadows run from themselves. I'll just be waiting. 